Get down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth. Let me... Let me go. I've done nothing wrong. Speak if you want me to release you. Where is she? I... I don't know. I'm thirsty. Give me water. You will have nothing until you tell me something. Have mercy. I'm... Dying. I don't care. If you die, I will just question another one like you. Talk! Where is the girl? This is surely the sleuth. And luckily, he's not found Alba yet. He's questioning this man to find out where she is. This madman will eventually torture this poor person to death. We must intervene. You're right. Let's go. Hey, who goes there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation, and I was sent to find a young nought, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. Your brutality must stop. I order you to release this man and leave immediately. I don't care about your orders. And since you want to interfere in my hunt, you will regret it. Let's free this poor man. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wenshavaye later on. You are the ones who saved me from Saul Lasser. Oh, I am so grateful to you. Oh, I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? Do you offer services as a guide? Sometimes I take Renaigse to a good fishing place. They give me beautiful objects in exchange. But right now we have to be careful. There have been accidents with the tenders. Did you want anything else? We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down. And they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So, she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. I led her into the forest nearby, to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your... notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place.
cook, a camp. Maybe these are Albert's things. than to return to my father. Wait, something's wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. We did not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then why are you here? We know you betrayed the Norts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder. And we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Norts are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You'd better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfredi. It worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors, and I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. This captain accused this young woman and used us to make her flee. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony. Desarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. But she never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alba, and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Excellency, I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first. But when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a Nord. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. But I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Good day. What can I do for you? 
We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance, as if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... <sighs> troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Hello. You need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's gonna sound like, but I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you. Heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof. Doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. If he's a loner, would make sense he needs some company from time to time. And as captain, he must have the means. Yes, you are certainly right. Well, none of my business. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spend a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. How about a change of scenery? And a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan? But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level, and his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious, too. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. All this is very interesting, but there is nothing solid here. We should follow him tonight. We can see everything from here.
Here he is, red-handed. The sellout. Shall we arrest him? We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. The captain and his buyer should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. Put the message back. We mustn't arouse suspicion. And we should warn the Admiral immediately. She'd want to know. Let's go. Sorry, Day. What can I do for you? We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting discreetly. Perfect. I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. The coin. Once more. They truly are behind all bad attacks. The wretched traitor. How dare he sell us to lawless mercenaries. Bit of poison on my blade. Traitor got what he deserved. Is everything all right, Admiral? It's nothing. Sorry to have charged like that. I got carried away. I couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins. Do you want us to tend to your wound? No, I'll go back to port and get back on my feet. Find the documents. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, the three of you. In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow.
Desarde. How are your wounds? I recovered fast. It was nothing. Did you find the documents he intended to sell? Yes, here they are. But there was more than just his journal. So, he lusted after a prestigious position. And what a salary! I see that our secrets are still worth a fortune. Thank you for bringing me all this. As for you, Alba, I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. You have nothing to do with it. The Captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the Volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, Desarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. You were lucky. Without our presence here. Yes. Blessed be the Earth that has brought you to us at this time. I... You one... I was touched. I am hurt. Oh no! Morian! These creatures are venomous. If their venom has come into contact with her blood, this young woman does not have long. And we are too far from the village to seek help. How are we going to save her? I know a potion that will erase the effects of the venom. I have a vial of it in my bag. Hold on. Thank you. Truly the best winds have brought you to us. Here, drink this. Don't worry. It'll heal you. You can trust her. She knows what she's doing. Morian, what do you feel? I... I feel the pain leaving me. She is saved. You have great wisdom. May the trees always bear fruits on your journey. You have saved Morian. It was nothing. I'm glad I could help you. You are different from other Renaixi. You know the potions. But what were you looking for here? We came to study this place, the carvings in particular. This is one of our places of ritual, a place of connection. What do you hope to learn from our carvings? I. I seek to understand the mechanisms of your transformations. I think these carvings could help with this. You seek the secrets of the Donegada. You should speak with Armal. Yes, his name is Dunkas. He is also our Donegad, and his wisdom is boundless. Here is someone who should be able to answer all your questions, Afra. Let us go, then. We will have time to discuss on the way. I have so many questions about this place about the rituals that take place here. Bertier to mad, Donkas. These Renaikes has saved my life. What happened? We were meditating at the sacred circle in Kerganau, and we were attacked. Morian was poisoned, and they gave her a potion. Really? We are not yet used to the Renaixe doing something without expecting something in return. You should go and meditate now. I have to talk to them. They are different from the others. Oh, I'm sure of it. 
I hear your gratitude, Morian. It honors you. Now go. Leave us. Here you are again, Renaixe. Thank you for saving Morian. It was a coined gesture. Please. We couldn't let her die without doing anything. This feeling brings you honor. But what were you doing near our sacred circle in Kerganau? It was me who led my friend there. I was hoping to study the circle to better understand your culture. Loyans always want the same thing. They covet our secrets to better steal our land, to better hurt our children. Calm now. Perhaps this loyaness is different from the others. Maybe we were wrong about them too. I'm not trying to conquer your island, let alone hurt anyone. I just want to know. A noble quest that could perhaps bring peace, but to which I cannot answer alone. I cannot reveal such secrets without seeking advice from the Oda Donegada. But in order to thank you for saving one of our daughters, stay with us tonight. Eat and celebrate life. Maybe by sharing this joyous moment, you will learn something. We accept your invitation. Isn't that right, Dasade? Of course. Thank you for welcoming us, Dunkus. I'm sorry. You look disappointed. I did not expect your Denegad to reveal all its secrets to us, but I would have loved to learn more. Perhaps you should be patient. It takes years to understand the mysteries of the Donegada, and since you are staying with us tonight, it will be an opportunity to continue learning. That's what I hope. Thank you for welcoming us tonight. We had a good time. Yes. It was very... enlightening. We are glad that you stayed with us. We too have learned from you. Your face brims with thoughts, Afra. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Probably just tiredness. We should all rest. It has been a long day. May your dreams be wonderful. Good night. May the moon watch over your dreams. Is something wrong? Dunkus wasn't here tonight, yet he's the one who invited us to stay. I also saw one of the elders sneaking out of the village. You think they're hiding something from us? I don't know. But since they don't want to share their knowledge with us, let's try to follow them. I don't like it one bit, Afra. If the elders and Dunkas are gone, then we have no right to follow them. In that case, why don't you explain where the transformation comes from? It's... it's not something that can be explained that easily. You have to believe to understand. You are not capable. I see. So we will discreetly follow these people, since this is the price of knowing. Here they are. Let's try not to be detected. I'm 
Be as discreet as possible. They are below. Get down or we'll be seen. Forgive us. We did not intend to interrupt you. Why are you here? We're sorry. We didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. We need answers, so we followed your elders. I never thought I would see you like this, hiding in the bushes, spying on your elder's daughter of Vladmit. I'm the one who brought her here. She didn't want to follow you, but she refused to tell me what I need to know. <sighs> well, since you absolutely want to learn, do as the apprentices do. Take a seat and be quiet. We are here to meditate, to hear the voice of the earth. Because the wind has changed. Close to us, our witness, Diri. You were right. Yoan is ready. Morion's trial has made her more sensitive. She is his Minundanem, and he is hers. One cannot progress without the other. She will have to bring him to the Cave of Knowledge. This will be his last trial before creating the bond. May their path be gentle and shielded. As for me, I hear the call ever louder, Dunkas. And the day the call is loud enough, you will respond just like each of us. But it's not yet time for you to join Enon Milfrichtenen. So, Afra, are you satisfied with what you saw? It was informative, although it's not what I expected. Thank you, Dunkas. This meeting was strange. It almost seemed like they really heard voices in the wind. Maybe it's true. Some believe so strongly that they end up hearing or seeing what they hope for. Have you learned what you wanted to? What they said about these young people we helped out, about the fact they were ready to bind themselves. We have a unique opportunity of seeing a transformation with our very own eyes. But we can't follow them wherever they go. No, of course not. I must think on it. Come back and talk to me later. What an astounding place. My mother told me about this place. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the sons. How could their chief accept this? All that's left to do is find Father Eustinius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Justinius. 
Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. <sighs> they are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wonder how my people could accept the priests settling in their home like this. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Ha! Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of Saint Matthias, and everything here fit the description of Saint Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. And how well have neighboring villagers welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedlug, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There are no Onol Manawi and no warriors here either. Did they all leave? Perfect harmony takes time, my child. I have no doubt that one day we will manage to convince your kind to convert. But in the meantime, we must settle for the miracle of great coexistence that this place already represents. Nobody thought we could live side by side with your people, and yet. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Amler, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? I have heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. 
I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions, talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them, they were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace. And the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vorstirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaigse to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men, perhaps wiser than they are. I have to go. Like so many others. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings. And then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of Saint Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The Islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. I talked to Father Justinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. 
Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine that someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. Thank you. I will let you work. Greetings. Desaudet. I'm handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well, Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof, not the money we could make out of them. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter, anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove St. Mateus lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. <laughs> I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the islanders. We must bring the light to this island. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to Saint Mateus, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. If your superior is Domitius, you are a member of the Ordo Luminis. I did not expect to find one of its members side by side with the missionaries. They usually do not get along. The Order goes everywhere. The light needs to be revealed. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about St. Mateus. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the 
marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. I knew that the story would be more complex than we've been told. The priests separated this village into two parts. The exiles must be broken-hearted, having left their clan behind. Had they been wiser and accepted their new neighbors, they'd never have been forced to leave. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. There's only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. This priest, Virgil, said that the night was calm. So calm that he probably fell asleep. So, the thieves only had to take the key from him. It's very likely that that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. You think that the one who told them is in this village? We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village. Family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who's close to the exiles, and enough about the researchers to inform them. You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right. The Inquisitors would come back, and my people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make. I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her. But things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. I have to go. Like so many others. Greetings. Are you Vindwal? Bird tier to mud. Yes, that is me. What do you want? What can you tell me about Lair, your former leader? He is a man of peace. Some people dislike him, not me. Everything he did, he did to save the village. But I think the mind shakers 
made him forget what we are. He almost speaks like them now. Listen, I know you helped the Exiles to steal the tablets of St. Matthias. No, this is not true. It wasn't me. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? The only means of alleviating the situation with Teleme is to give the priests their tablets back. So if you do not want your son to suffer their wrath, it would be best if I could retrieve them discreetly. Uh, Bran and the rest of the Exoils are hiding in the woods, beyond the Stone Circle. If you want to take the tablets away from them without being seen, do not take the part on the left. It is riddled with traps. And please, do not hurt my son. Here's the place that Vindwal indicated. The Exiles must be near. These people have been banished already. There's no need to add death to their list of punishments. Let's try not to fight them. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. Remember that we were told the area on the left was a trap. It would be smarter to take the other path. We found them. Now all that's left to do is return to Eden. What are you doing here? I was worried for my son. I wanted to make sure that everything was fine. I think so. I managed to retrieve the tablets discreetly. I am glad to hear that you managed to retrieve them. I will go talk to my son now. He needs to stop seeking revenge and find a new clan. That would indeed be wiser. Vengeance has no positive repercussions. I retrieved your relics. Thank you. Thank you immensely. Thanks to them, we will be able to continue our research on St. Matthias. I am curious to know who is responsible for this theft. The culprit must be brought to justice. I do not want to point the finger at anyone. You have your relics back, and that's the only thing that matters. Your indulgence honors you. 
But how can we be certain that these thieves will not strike again if they are not punished? A good start would be to keep a better watch on the priceless treasures that you find. Had you respected this village, you would not have to look for a culprit. You settled here without even asking those who lived here for their opinion on the matter. Instead of talking about harmony, start taking action to really make it happen. But that is precisely what we desire more than anything. Oh, we may have been a bit clumsy in the beginning, but we'll make sure to improve things in the future. You really were a great help. I would be most grateful if you agreed to continue helping us. I might come back at some point, but alas, I am very busy. Naturally. Either way, we are certainly capable of continuing our research without you. Actually, I must go back to my work. Our next expedition must depart as soon as possible. Your next expedition? Our brave researchers must continue to follow the tracks of our founder on this island. In the meantime, here, take this as a token of gratitude for the help you gave us. Thank you. I hope your expedition will be a success.